The Amazon Basin is one of the most remarkable geographical features on Earth. Spanning over 7 million square kilometers, the Amazon Basin is the largest tropical rainforest in the world. Graham Hancock asserts that the lost civilization of the Amazon was highly advanced and had a population of 20 million, exceeding the populations of modern countries such as Sweden, New Zealand, Switzerland, Ireland, and many other larger countries. The civilization was able to support this population through the use of innovative agricultural technologies and very advanced technologies, such as the creation of terra preta, a type of soil that is incredibly fertile and can support agriculture for long periods. And everything becomes more interesting since scientists revealed significant details about the discovery of two very advanced civilizations from the Amazon that are simply mind-boggling and turn everything upside down. So, covering over 40% of South America, the region is home to one of the most biodiverse ecosystems on the planet, with an estimated 40,000 plant species, 1,300 bird species, 3,000 fish species, and countless other animals and insects. The Amazon Basin is situated in the heart of South America, surrounded by the Andes Mountains to the west and the Brazilian Shield to the east. The region is dominated by the Amazon River, which flows for 6,400 kilometers from its source in the Peruvian Andes to the Atlantic Ocean. The river and its tributaries form an intricate network of waterways that crisscross the entire region, providing a vital lifeline for millions of people and animals that depend on the Amazon for their survival. Francisco de Oriana was a Spanish explorer who's best known for his discovery of the Amazon River in 1542. During his exploration, he also claimed to have found lost cities and civilizations in the Amazon rainforest, which sparked the interest and imagination of many people over the years. Oriano's journey began when he and his fellow explorer Gonzalo Pizarro set out on an expedition to find the mythical land of El Dorado, a fabled city of gold that was said to exist somewhere in the interior of South America. The two men and their crew embarked on an arduous journey through the Andes Mountains, crossing treacherous terrain and encountering hostile indigenous tribes along the way. After months of travel, the expedition reached the headwaters of the Amazon River, which was known as the Rio de las Amazonas. Oriano and Pizarro decided to split up, with Pizarro leading the main body of the expedition downstream while Oriana took a smaller group of men and set off in search of food and other supplies. It was during this journey that Oriana claimed to have encountered numerous tribes of indigenous people who were living in large, prosperous cities deep in the heart of the Amazon rainforest. He described these cities as being built of stone, with paved streets and large public squares, and said they were ruled by wealthy and powerful kings who lived in opulent palaces. Oriana claimed that these cities were home to vast treasures of gold and other precious metals, which he and his men saw firsthand as they traded with the indigenous people. He named this city the Land of the Amazons after the legendary female warriors of Greek mythology. Oriana's accounts of his journey through the Amazon rainforest did have a significant impact on European perceptions of the New World. His descriptions of vast, unknown territories filled with riches and exotic cultures fueled the imaginations of explorers and adventurers for centuries to come and helped to shape the popular image of South America as a land of mystery and wonder. During his journey, Oriana embarked on a voyage down the Amazon River in search of riches and new territories for his empire. Little did he know that his expedition would lead him to a discovery of a new society, the Zingu, who would forever change the way he viewed the world. As they traveled downstream, Oriana and his crew began to notice a shift in the landscape and culture of the people they encountered. The forest grew denser and the people they met were different from any they had seen before. These were the people of the Zingu, a complex society of farmers, hunters, and fishermen who lived in the region now known as the Brazilian Amazon. The Zingu people were skilled farmers who cultivated crops such as corn, cassava, and tobacco. They also hunted and fished, using a variety of tools and techniques that were unknown to Europeans at the time. Oriana and his crew were fascinated by the Zingu way of life and spent several weeks in the region, observing and interacting with the people they met. During their stay, Oriana learned that the Zingu were a highly organized society with a complex social hierarchy and sophisticated system of governance. They had developed their own language and culture and were highly skilled in the arts of weaving, pottery, and metallurgy. Despite their peaceful demeanor, the Zingu were not entirely welcoming to the Spanish explorers. Oriana's men were seen as a threat to their way of life, and there were several tense encounters between the two groups. Nonetheless, Oriana and his crew managed to establish a rapport with the Zingu people and even traded goods with them before continuing on their journey downstream. 
Oriana's discovery of the Zingu society was a turning point in the history of the Amazon region. Until that time, Europeans had viewed the region as a vast, unchartered wilderness, inhabited by uncivilized tribes. The discovery of the Zingu people shattered these preconceptions and opened up new avenues for exploration and trade. Oriana's journey down the Amazon River was an incredible feat of exploration, and his encounter with the Zingu people was one of the highlights of the expedition. It showed that even in the most remote corners of the world, there are still civilizations waiting to be discovered," said Dr. Felipe Pate, geographer at the Federal University of Amazonas, Brazil. Both cultures were significantly affected by the interaction between the Spanish and the Zingu people. The Spanish brought with them new technologies, such as firearms and metal tools, which would have had a lasting impact on the Zingu way of life. Conversely, the Zingu people introduced the Europeans to new foods, medicines, and cultural practices which would eventually be incorporated into European society. Oriana is also credited with discovering the Amaguas tribe. As Oriana and his men traveled down the river, they encountered many different tribes, some of whom were friendly and welcoming, while others were hostile and fiercely protective of their territory. It was during one such encounter that Oriana first came into contact with the Amaguas. The Amaguas were a tribe of indigenous people who lived in the upper reaches of the Amazon, near the modern-day border between Peru and Brazil. They were a sedentary people who lived in large villages and had a complex social hierarchy with a chief at the head of each community. Oriana and his men were fascinated by the Amaguas and they spent several weeks in their villages, learning about their way of life and customs. They were particularly interested in the Amagua's use of a type of poison which they used to hunt animals and fish. Oriana was also struck by the Amagua's advanced knowledge of agriculture and their ability to cultivate crops in the harsh Amazonian environment. Despite the apparent hospitality of the Amaguas, tensions soon arose between Oriana's men and the tribe. The Spaniards were constantly on the lookout for gold and other precious metals, and they became increasingly aggressive in their demands for tribute from the Amaguas. This led to a series of skirmishes, which eventually escalated into open conflict. The conflict between Ariana's men and the Amaguas was brutal, with both sides suffering significant losses. In the end, however, it was Oriana and his men who emerged victorious, thanks in no small part to their superior weapons and tactics. Despite the violence of the encounter, Oriana's discovery of the Amaguas was significant in that it marked one of the first recorded encounters between Europeans and the indigenous peoples of the Amazon basin. It also provided valuable insights into the complex social structures and customs of the tribes who lived in the region. Oriana's discovery of the Amaguas helped to dispel many of the myths and misconceptions that Europeans held about the Amazon, paving the way for further exploration and discovery in the region, said Dr. Luis Gomez, exploration historian. Joe Rogan talked about it in his podcast with Graham Hancock. As they have explained, the Amazon basin is approximately 7 million square kilometers in size, with about 5.5 million square kilometers remaining unstudied by archaeologists. This is equivalent to the entire Indian subcontinent being ignored in world archaeology. For many years, there was a dogmatic belief that the Amazon was not a suitable area for human habitation due to poor soil quality, lack of resources, and distance from the Bering Straits. The prevailing view was that humans did not enter the Amazon until about a thousand years ago. However, this belief has gradually changed due to the tragic deforestation of the region, which has revealed evidence of large, flourishing cities that were once hidden by the rainforest. Smallpox is a viral disease that has plagued humanity for centuries, and it has been responsible for numerous outbreaks throughout history. One such outbreak occurred in the 16th century in the Amazon region of South America, where the disease devastated and destroyed the local population. The Amazon smallpox epidemic occurred during the early years of European colonization of the Americas. As Europeans explored and settled in the New World, they brought with them a host of diseases that the indigenous populations had never encountered before. Smallpox was one of the most deadly of these diseases, and it quickly spread among the people of the Amazon region. The smallpox epidemic represents one of the most devastating episodes of disease in human history. Its impact on the indigenous populations of South America was catastrophic, and it serves as a reminder of the importance of respecting and protecting vulnerable communities," said Professor Sarah Rodriguez, Latin American Studies scholar. According to Joe Rogan, there used to be 20 million people living in the Amazon. When Europeans visited in the 1500s, they reported seeing huge civilizations in the region. However, when explorers returned 200 years later, there was no trace of these civilizations. 
it was later discovered that smallpox had wiped out the population and the jungle had reclaimed the cities. As Rogan explains, using a technology called LIDAR, which is like laser radar, planes or helicopters are flown over the region to create a detailed image of what's beneath the surface. LIDAR has revealed significant complex structures such as roadways, irrigation systems, and circular patterns that suggest the presence of villages and cities where millions of people once lived. Joe said, Europeans, when they came in the 1500s, they would tell these incredible stories about these huge civilizations in the Amazon. But then, when explorers came back 200 years later, there was nothing there, and they were like, this is crazy, they lied, they must have lied, but it turns out they didn't lie. What happened was smallpox ran through and destroyed everything. The Amazonian people had no immunity to smallpox, and the disease spread rapidly through their communities. It's estimated that the epidemic killed between 80 and 90 percent of the indigenous population in some areas. The disease was particularly devastating because it spread quickly and was highly contagious. Infected individuals could spread the virus to others for up to two weeks before showing any symptoms. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.